Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're looking at Power Automate Desktop Actions. We're going to be looking at how to generate a random number. So the action is generate random number. This allows you to generate a number between a minimum value and a maximum value that you give. However, this action also allows you to generate a list of random numbers. So not only can you generate a single number, you can generate a list of random numbers. Okay, so what does this look like on Power Automate Desktop? When you first add the action, you're going to see the generate random number action like this as it appears on the screen. You're going to want to set a minimum value and then you're going to want to set a maximum value. So it's going to be that particular number to the maximum number or a number between. You're going to get a randomly generated number between those two values. What's going to happen then is you're going to get a variable produced called random number in this instance. That's the default one, but you can change the name of that. So then you're going to, every time have this action run, you'll get a number between zero and a hundred produced in a random number variable. However, you can see this generate random numbers little toggle here. If you select that, you will get additional options. So make sure that's turned off if you just want one number, but if you want a list of numbers, i.e. you want multiple random numbers to do whatever you're doing, such as testing or whatnot, you'll turn that toggle on. And once you turn that toggle on, you will see this. So you can see the maximum value at the top still there and the toggle just turned on. But now we can see that we can have how many numbers we want to generate. So in this instance, I've got 10 numbers that I want to generate. And you can change however many numbers you want to be produced in the list. So in this instance, I'm going to get 10 random numbers between zero and 100 placed in a list. I can also say if I want to allow duplicates or not. So I, if I'm just doing a zero to 10, for example, and we're doing 10 numbers, I may just want zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to allow two to occur three times, for example, so I can turn off duplicates. And that's off by default. So if you toggle it, you're going to be turning on allowing duplicates, or if you leave it alone, you will not allow duplicates. Then what's going to happen is you can see the variables produced now says random numbers rather than random number. So this is now a list that will be produced. It will be a list of 10 numbers in this uh, example that will be produced of random numbers between zero and 100. And obviously you can rename that, but just make sure you're using a, plur um, a plural because you want to make sure that you're going to uh, understand that there's going to be multiple numbers being used. So let's jump on to Power Automate Desktop and see how this works. Okay, so I'm on Power Automate Desktop. I'm going to open up the variable section and then I'm going to add the generate random number. So I'm just going to click on, double click on that. And as you can see here, I've got a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 100. And just for the purpose of this, I'll change that to 20. So we're going to get a variable produced of random number between zero and 20. So if I save that and I hit run, you can see on the right hand side, we've got our flow variables. And now I've got a random number between zero and 20 created, and that is 17. It's given me 17. So if I run this again, then we should get another number between zero and 20, and well, now we've got 14. But let's take a look at actually generating a list then. So let's keep that one there, so it keeps doing our random individual number. But what we'll do is we'll add a list this time. So let's change that to 50 this time. So we've got a maximum of 50, we've got a minimum of zero. We're going to generate random multiple numbers, and we're going to have um, a maximum of 10 numbers produced. So we're going to get 
between 0 and 50 we're going to get 10 numbers placed into a variable called random number so we're going to have a list variable of 10 random numbers between 0, zero and 50 and um, we're not going to change the allow duplicates we're just going to leave it at that so if I hit run now um, as you can see uh, the flow ran successfully and on the right hand side we've got a random number so we got zero for our first random number so as you can see it does actually use the number that you put in for minimum and the number for maximum is not just between as well as we've got random numbers generated in our list so we have 46 47 24 13 7 19 17 and as and so on and so on and so on so we start at zero because obviously it's an array um, and we go up to nine and we've got 10 random numbers generated for us and that's how easy it is to generate an individual random number or a list of random numbers on Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.